All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Yasuo top lane in Season 12. So what you want to be running right now is a Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Bone Plane, and Revitalize. What we also have is a Doran's Blade into the Gnar matchup. We'd also like to mention real quick, we are running Bone Plane against Gnar, um, which is not necessarily that good because we, um, we're going to be getting poked out a lot, actually. So it would have been better if we had Second Wind. So, just like to mention that real quick. Now, guys, um, a couple things I want to say real quick. If you're looking for a top laner, which heavily counters any kind of champion that is ranged, right? For example, this Nar right here. Yasuo is like one of the greatest champs you can actually play in top. I'll show you why. Like, the first level isn't necessarily that much fun because we don't have my E. But once we reach level 2 and 3, specifically level 3 for my Wind Wall... I think it's sort of abusing the, the dash and the wall. I love how he's trying to sidestep my uh, my Q here. <laughs> Ooh, we missed it. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. Still hit another Q here. So a couple of things to keep in mind is that we're facing off a Fiego at the moment, which I'm assuming is probably going to be uh, for my camping topside. Staying away from the stun here. It's going to approach him slightly different, but this is fine too. Alright, let's keep it like that. So first things first. There's two things that you need to know when you play Yasuo, okay? But the first thing being, um, in general, when you play Yasuo, what you're going to be buying first all the time is going to be a Berserkus Greaves, okay? Partially because of the attack speed, movement speed are both things that you need here. Um, but there's one exception. If you are in a matchup where, you know, you're going to get poked a lot and there's a lot of fighting involved where you don't immediately kill him, um, this is where you can actually go for Shield Bow and then into Life Steel Scepter, you know? Um, most games, I'd say like 90% of all games, you're going to be going with Berserkus Greaves all the time as a first item. But then you have like these rare matchups where Life's Scepter is just better. You know, not for this game at least. Like, in our matchup, we don't really need to have Life Seal right off the start. Ooh, hitting a Q. So right now we're going to be freezing down the wave. Nar can't really do anything because if he walks up, we're going to be able to dash on him right away. So I'm going to be uh, abusing this this part. Keep in mind, guys, um, even though we are in a very good matchup, we are facing off a Fiego. And if he does actually gank my lane, it's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty tough for me. So let's hold the wave. So we can deny him more. Nar should be coming back any second now. Apparently he's came back with some armor. Make sure you don't get caught by the Nar Qs. Because they do the most damage. So in terms of like farming. We are already like super far ahead currently. Well, okay, not bad. I'm gonna take the push right here. Gonna make sure we reach that level six first. If we can reach it before he transforms, we can kill him very easily. Hmm. The hardest part against Nar is when he transforms. That's why it becomes an issue. Probably leave it the way it is. It's about to transform right now. Let's go for this one. TP right away. That's the fun part because um, now that we have my Berserkus Crease and we TP at the same time, uh, we will now have an advantage while laning against him since we actually did our backport just now. Wait a second, I missed up. Okay. Um, just make sure to hit as many Qs as we can. 
while the wave is like uh, pushing into him. There's a fair chance that uh, Fiego might be in the tri-bush because he's shown up like less than 30 seconds ago. He might be like, uh, he might be behind this wall here. Yep. This Nar is pretty smart because he's going with steel caps right off the start. That's why we do like less damage on him. What we could try doing is like set up a 2v2. Seems like we're about to get ganked by uh, by the enemy jungle here. Okay. Kind of hoping for more. Seems like they knew that uh, Sinja was coming down here. Okay, whatever. Like, we already have a massive lead over Gnar right now. You might not see it because we don't have any kills, but in terms of, like, farming, we are already, like, very far ahead. I had flash. It just came up. Feels bad, man. I literally had my flash coming up, and I could have used it when the, the Kiana ultimate came in. But I was hoping I could walk out without having to use my flash. Unfortunately. It's gonna be a pretty hard game for what it seems, but I think we're gonna be fine anyway. Seems like Vayne, Kiana, and Jaeger are, are all pretty fed right now. Is no more than a luxury. Let's put some one on the edge. Apparently he's got a steel cap right now. Wouldn't really be too surprised if uh, Fiego's gonna come back once again. Probably. I'll see if I can get the ball play found. Got a ward in the tribush, so if Fiego does come, then I think he's gonna come through the tribush. So first, we're going to have to get the bone play down. Good. Ooh, we blocked the Q. He's probably going to try and jump into me to use the ultimate. He's about to lose the transform here. Seems like Diego is top again. Oh, we didn't even hit it. <laughs> he tried outplaying it. Well, we end up getting him. Or, I guess we don't. Nope. Nice attempt from him. How does actually don't get him again? Let's go for dude to go over. Again, like, there's one thing we don't really need. Like, I'm not really worried about life steal against Nar. So I'm just gonna go for, like, Noon Cooper instead, just for the raw damage. Kinda sucks that we still haven't got to kill Nar yet, despite being in a, you know, in a favorable matchup. It's smart from Nar that he's going for steel caps. I, I think he's probably going to start building towards Scorching Canal, I think. Yeah, probably. We do have a nice lead against him, though. Just kind of wish we had more kills against him. I'm not going to press my R. Hmm, we missed that. That's not going to work. Hmm. Oof. 
We do land it, but it's not something that I can actually, like, ult to. If I did it, I would have probably died. Because he could jump away. He would survive in the end. Do I have my ultimate ready and set? Hmm. <laughs> I was kind of hoping they would like both walk into it. Oh, we got like two of them. Ooh, I nearly got him, but he walked away again. This is the second time that, that Nar has happened to like walk away with like super little HP. But at least luckily though, like Tristana walks in, so whatever. Again, like several kills that we missed on the also here, but my team has managed to get them all. So it's okay. I push the wave, and then we're going to back out. Wow, apparently, like, we uh, we didn't even get an assist from killing Fiego right there, which is extremely strange, actually. Because if I remember, I did actually hit him. Alright, so let's see what he's going to do. Apparently he's got a steel caps and he has a warhammer at the moment. For us, like, we have a 40, well, nearly 40 CS lead on Nar right now. We have, like, a, an entire level XP advantage against Nar as well. So we might not have any kills against him, but we do have a massive lead. Hmm, didn't land it. Nah. I like how Nars like standing so far away. <laughs> to the point he can't even reach anything. Goodbye. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna ult away. My ultimate is very short code on any way. You were able to like trade him like this, and at the same time, he was in the transform. Now I can't really do much anymore. Again, like, we don't kill Nar right here, man. This guy's just standing so far away. To the point I just can't reach him. Oh, there's a ward. Serious? I'm just pretending like I'm not going to do much. But in reality, I think I'm going to try and flash on him. That's going to be the plan here. I got my ultimate in like 8 seconds right now. So this is the part where we are going to kill him. I don't think he's going to expect my flash. Probably. Hmm. Definitely not going to ult that stuff. Oh, I actually missed it? That's incredible. How often has this Nara been able to escape right now, man? Gotcha, finally. Man, this Nar has basically been able to, like, stay alive from anything right now. But you see, like, even if you only, um, even if you only kill Nar once, eventually, like, you will outscale him anyway. Um, you also always have the ability to dash into him and win. So at some point, you will win anyway. 
you know, and this goes not only for the Gnar matchup, but it goes for pretty much any matchup that is, like, ranged. You know, I'll sell that one. So, you know, like, think about other champions like, you know, y uh, Yasuo into, into Cannon, for example. It's kind of it's kind of like a similar story. You're just going to be able to dash in every single time and always win. Uh, you also have, like, other champions, you know, such as, like, Queen top lane, uh, even Vayne top. There's so many matchups that Yasuo can 100% beat, you know, just constantly dashing, like, into them. You know, we might only have like one kill on NAR right now, but we do have like a 50, well, nearly 50 CS lead right now just because of the, the matchup itself. I don't think he's going to walk into me, but I'm going to see if he will. He's going to stay here. I don't think that's gonna try. I'm gonna deny him like so much here. Oh, it seems like he's roaming. It's not really something that I'm gonna TP into because I think if I do, they will end up running away anyway. So I'll just wait for a better opportunity. Hello, Nar. Will he walk this way? Nope. So it seems like we're getting ganked by Fiego. He's showing up right now. Well, I'm probably dead. Kind of hoping that the ultimate will like throw me like on the side, not, not like inside the tower, but I stood like away and like a little bit too close. Yeah. Oh, I'm still gonna die. All right, next on we're gonna go for a BF sword, but we don't have enough yet. Need a bit more. I'm not a huge fan of like playing Yasuo and like building uh building crit chance. You know, usually I'm much more of a fan of just rushing like raw damage over crit because you know even though you do get like double the amount, it's sometimes it's just not worth because you already have the crits from your first item. So I think what I'm probably gonna do is just uh rush the zeal right now. Let's go for a mortar reminder. Alright, let's go Nar. This is gonna be a hard game from what it seems. We are chilling top, but my team is like struggling right now. Obviously he's gonna run away. There's not much he can do. Take one more wave and then we start roaming. Gotta be careful for Fiego. Because he's currently missing on the map. Hello, Nar. Even if I would hit him, I don't think I would have ulted because he could just jump away if he likes. Kiana, this game is like another issue because she can, uh, she can like burst me down, but like whenever she likes. It like if I was actually stronger than Kiana right now, I would have definitely ran mid lane instead of here. Serious. Another, like, this Nar is just escaping anything, man. So unfortunate. All 
All right, time to go for this one. Need like a bit more, but I don't want to sell my Dorn's Blade for it. Need like one camp for it. Or like at least two camps. Need one more. Not gonna face it the brush, obviously, because Viego could be there. <laughs> this Viego has like nearly pen kills this game and Kiana. <laughs> This is going to be like one of those games where it's like anti Yasuo because literally everyone that has burst has like tank kills this game. So now we have Mortuary Miner. Now we can actually cut the healing from, uh, from Fiego. And also the others. Wait a second. I think they probably have vision here. Oh, so much gold right there. They fell for it. <laughs> Unbelievable. Can't believe that they actually fell for this stuff, actually. Another 600 gold. Appreciate it. Got like four kills in which like all of them were worth like a lot of gold here. You <laughs> could probably kill him as well. Okay, whatever. We're not gonna chase him down. Just let him be for what it is. Wow, we actually got him as well. This is actually unbelievable. We got like the entire team, right? Including Nar right now. This might also be uh, potentially the Drake here if I reset. We can literally buy Infinity Edge instantly right now. <laughs> there we go. Gonna TP. Who knows, we might be able to start up like another fight here. I've got my ult in like 15. Kiana is around here somewhere. I was gonna try. I try ulting and getting out of this Kiana Ultima, but I got exhausted by someone. Yeah, right, I got exhausted by Nami. I wanted, like, originally, I was looking to kill this, um, this Viego here. But they were, <laughs> they were coming to burst me. So I had to, like, dash away to survive. So next item right now will be a death stance, which, well, which we all know, like, which got buffed. And I think my last item, uh, I think might probably be a buff or I'm not sure. It's kind of, kind of depends what will happen next. Got my flash coming up in like five seconds, so we can start up next fight pretty well. Could make some fancy play with it. I hope he's gonna walk in here. Gotcha. I just need my team to like group up right now. I think we can just force him right away. 
Are you going top, say? We're gonna go mid. Not bad, not bad. Well, <laughs> this game is within our hands, man. Yasuo Sinjar combination is just, is just busted. Ooh, imagine if that one lands. I think what we could try to do is like turn around using the this one. Ooh, close. <laughs> My tactic has nearly worked out actually. <laughs> <laughs> they always fall for it in some way. Let's go ball lane. Oh man, Sanjar Yasu combination is just so busted. Another one? Let's kill this guy here. Another one. There's another guy here. Did not land it on him though. Oh, I could have. Wait a second. Hmm, he escaped. Wait a second. We can make something happen here. I'm just gonna ping around. I think we can make something happen. Oh, he's not gonna fall for it. Uh, Fiego has already returned. So now we can uh, now we can afford my death stance. I think I'm probably just gonna sell my death uh, sell my Dorn's play to get this one. I don't really care about Guardian's Angel too much right now. <laughs> I want to have the uh, the buff death stance. Like the uh, the death stance on Yasuo is just so broken right now. Pretty much like any kind of champion where I play death stance on right now is just broken in late game. Uh, my final item, I guess, is. It's probably going to be a Guardian's Angel. We'll see. Hello there, Fiego. Just got to drag him a little bit. Nope. That's ours. Thank you very much. I'm just going to... Ping mid. All we have to do is just run mid straight up to finish up the game. I think they will probably fall for it. They will pass through here. Okay. Oh, she missed it! Oh, she missed it! Imagine what would have happened if that actually landed. <laughs> I'm sure she will probably hit something else. Oh, man. <laughs> Complete deletion. Okay, so Vayne like dropped everything onto me here, uh, despite me having a windfall on, because he was on the side. Put a stopwatch. Ooh, they could turn up they like. It's only Nami. 25 seconds for Vayne right now. 
I find it so incredible that the enemy team had like a super fed Fiego with like over 10 kills and also a Kiana which also had over 10 kills. And yet like even though they are super mega fed they still lost the game because me and Sinjar just took over the game. <laughs> Either way this is Yasuo Top. Thank you for watching today's YouTube video and I'll see you next time. Peace.